It's playoff weekend. Welcome, Mark Narducci, Phil Anastasia. It's part one as we look at some of the top playoff games. And Phil, let's go right to it in group four. Vineland, a team you saw last week, goes up against Lenape, a quietly earned that number one spot. They did, they won four in a row, got some help from Cherokee and yeah. Seneca on Friday. Uh, and the reward is playing, you know, one of the more formidable number eight seeds I ever yeah. remember seeing. I know yep. Vineland was was outplayed by the prep on Friday, and the prep deserved to win it. But this Vineland team is physically imposing. Um, they got two Big Ten recruits, uh, another kid uh, going to uh, Bucknell. So this is a uh, this is a tough one eight matchup for yeah. Lenape. Lenape's played very well. JoJo Kellen, their senior running back, uh, has been on a real big time role recently. Uh, but this is a challenge for them. Violent, um, you know, I think still smarting from that loss and really eager, I think, to prove they belong in the conversation. So this has got a chance to be a real good game for a 1-8 mark. And we go to Violent's biggest rival, Millville. Millville taking on Williamstown. Phil, this is a rematch. The Thunderbolts won the, uh, the opening game. They're the defending champs. They're undefeated. Yeah, they've had a great year. I mean, Clayton Scott has led the way for them. Anytime they got in trouble, he seems to yeah. come up with a big play for them. Uh, but this is a little bit of a tricky game for them, too. I mean, they were at Williamstown in late September, and uh, the Braves were, you know, within a touchdown late. Now, Millville scored late to make it 28-17. I think it looks a little bit more comfortable than it was. Um, so this is a challenge for the Thunderbolts, but, you know, they've answered every challenge so far this season, and they've been pointing towards a repeat, yeah. uh, and here's a chance for them to get off to a good start in, in defending their title. You know, in Group 4, a team that has quietly slipped in there is Absagami. Winners of three in a row, but uh, the Braves have to go up against the Shawnee team that I, I think is going to have a, have a deep run. I think so, too, Mark. I think on paper this might be the, the favorite yeah. uh, in four, even though they are the, the four seed. Right. Uh, but Absolutely Gammy, you're right, has played very well. They've won three in a row. There's some familiarity here. These teams scrimmage every summer. Uh, Josh Corsi has been a big-time playmaker for Absolute Gammy. But Shawnee has been traditionally a team that really gets going in the playoffs. Um, and as the four seed, I think they're set up maybe to make a run here. But they got to get off to a good start on Friday night, and that means taking care of business against Absolute Gammy. In Group 2 on Friday, it's Haddonfield at Sterling. Didn't they just play? They did just play. You were there, Mark, and this is, you know, one of those, uh, you know, week later rematches. Yeah. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. Sterling's had a remarkable year. You're talking about a team that's a point away from being 8-0 yeah. a year after being 1-9, which is just, just remarkable. Uh, but now, you know, it's a new season. So now you've got to try to do it in the playoffs as well. Uh, they haven't won a playoff game since 2002. So, you know, they have that challenge in front of them. And Haddonfield is a team, you know, lost three in a row, reeling a little bit. Some injuries have caught yeah. up with them. But this, the postseason is a, is a new start, chance to kind of maybe recapture some of that early season magic. So this has got a chance, I think, to be a good game, especially with the familiarity from last week. Phil, I think a really interesting game in Group 2 is Cinnaminson at Camden. Cinnaminson is the only team that has beaten West Stefford is on a roll and so is Camden with a big win over RV. Absolutely. You know, number two seed's going to be home yeah. at Farnham Park for two weeks in a row if they're able to win this week. But this is going to be a challenge for them. Cinnamon's won five in a row. They've allowed 14 points, Mark, in all five of those wow. games. Uh, Kai Light Lightford, their uh, senior middle linebacker, has really done a great job for them. They're playing with a lot of confidence. Like you said, the win over West Ever, I think, really boosted their confidence. So this has got a chance to be a real interesting game. But Camden... I think it's really the team to watch in South Jersey, too. They've won six in a row, beaten RV, beaten Winslow, some big-time schools, yeah. uh, and they're home. So uh, watch the Panthers. Yeah, it should be great. And that's only part one. There's still many great games to talk about in part two. So for Phil Anastasia, Mark Narducci for Philly.com.